Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty on Monday, where we do bomb things on a Monday. Jasmine here, and tonight, tonight, today, tonight, I am coming to you from my bedroom. I wanted to share my winter skincare bedtime routine. The winter months are upon us and my skin has definitely seen a shift in its moisture level. So this is just a routine that I put together to sort of get the moisture back into my skin, really boost and plump my skin up. Cause you know we ain't got no time for ash. So I just wanted to take you through a quick routine just to boost the moisture back into your skin and to help you get back on track. So if you are interested in seeing how I get my skin to glow, meet me in the bathroom. First up, my exfoliating pre-mask. If you have makeup on your face, you might wanna make sure to remove all your makeup before doing this. So just to share with you a little bit about the coffee face mask scrub concoction that I put together. So I'd actually ran out of facial scrub and I didn't, and I really needed to exfoliate. So I decided to just use some coffee grinds. I would not recommend it if you're coffee sensitive, obviously, but I think it works great for my skin. I actually like to use it before I cleanse. I know it's a little unorthodox to scrub before that you've done your cleansing, but it's really easy to make. So you just take one tablespoon of finely ground coffee and two tablespoons of olive oil. So again, if you're olive oil sensitive, I wouldn't recommend using that, but you can also use any other oil that you have used on your face before. I like to use it first and then use my oil cleanse just to make sure that it's not going to clog my pores or anything like that. But I do find that it gives you like a serious moisture boost. And when you're applying it, just make sure that you're not scrubbing it into your face because it can be a bit abrasive. Next, you're just gonna take a warm washcloth and remove all those coffee grinds and oil from your face. Next, we're going to oil cleanse. I'm using my favorite by Claude Dally. Moving on to my water based cleanser, I'm using my other fave, tried and true, my pure fit. Purifying Foaming Cleanser by La Roche-Posay. They do have one that is a bit more moisturizing for the winter months. My skin doesn't really need that. So if you wanted to check out the creamier version or the milder version, they definitely have one available. Next, I'm going to be applying my Fresh Rose Floral Toner. This is a hydrating toner from Fresh. I'm just going to apply this all over my face before I move on to my mask. Now it's time for our mask. So I am using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost hydrating hydrogel mask with hyaluric acid guys this mask is amazing one side is sort of like the jelly side the other side is smoother so i like it because both sides aren't slippery so it's a little bit easier to get on i love 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 this hydro boost line it is the bomb i have several different items from the line you definitely need to check it out so i'm gonna leave this mask on for about 15 minutes and then i'll be back
Moving on, I'm gonna be using my Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence uh, by Fresh. So Essence is a newer step to my routine. I discovered this particular one over the summer and I am a definite fan favorite. It's typically a step that you do after you tone, but in this case, I did it to prep my skin for everything else after my mask. So I'm just gonna take that sprinkle it on my hands and apply it all over one of my favorite steps next I'm gonna be applying my hyaluronic I don't know why I can't say this word hyaluronic acid serum to my skin this is going to give me the plumping sensation and the moisture that I need Finally, I'm going to be applying my water sleeping mask by Laneage. Guys, this stuff is definitely a game changer. What you do is it comes with this little scooper. You scoop out a little spoonful, apply it to your face, and it goes on a little wet at first. I was a little worried that I would be like messy on my pillows, but it actually does absorb into your skin. And in the morning, you wake up and your face looks bananas. Just rinse this off or wash or do whatever your morning routine is. And it's as simple as that. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend adding a sleeping mask to your routine. Hi guys, I'm back. So these are the results of my little routine. I will say that you do feel an instant boost of moisture and um, my skin feels really plump. And I think that has a lot to do with A, the mask that I use. That mask is, that mask is the shiz. Like, I'm not even gonna front. It's it's a really good one. It was only like four bucks. So I, definitely going to be buying stock in that one and the hyaluric acid serum also helps with boosting and plumping your skin so that's also a good item to have but if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below also don't forget to like subscribe share tell a friend to tell a friend and just help somebody out some one of your little ashy friends somebody somebody may be in need of some moisture you know so share this video tell them all about it and i will see you next week